Hello guys, my name is Tinashe. This is Chikafu by Tinashe. Today we're going to be talking about cooking methods. So there are different cooking methods that you can use when you're making your dish, when you're making your meals. It doesn't have to be boring the same way, uh, roasting, boiling, just same methods of cooking that you're used to. There are many different ways of cooking that will actually keep your food more healthier, tastier, and also different textures on your plate. So today we're going to talk about poaching, uh, frying, roasting, uh, and also boiling, as well as uh, pan searing. So the first one is poaching. So poaching is when you take your water and you boil it, and then you reduce the temperature to a lower temperature so that it remains on a, on a, on a sort of like a, 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 a continuous slow boil. So this is like, if, you have a, if you're using a gas stove, this will be a low flame. If you're using a, an oven, this will be your temperature from maybe two or three. So you need to add flavor to your liquid. So how you can do this is you can add uh, stock uh, beef uh, cubes, vegetable cubes, uh, chicken cubes, stock cubes, or beef stock cubes. So you drop one. And then you can also add those uh, leftover vegetables that you're not using, like the offcuts on your vegetables, like when you're cutting, you're chopping your onion, your, your carrots, you can also add that to your liquid, give it more flavor, and you can throw in a bit of salt and also some uh, herbs, rosemary, thyme, if you have them. If you don't have them, it's fine. You can still use your, your offcuts instead of throwing them away. So when it comes to poaching, you can be poaching your meats, your fish, uh, this actually brings a tender and more uh, juicier product because you are not, you, there's no element of, of, of too much heat. So you're not taking away, you're not making it, uh, you're not making it dry in a way, you're just making it, it remains moist. So this can be your, this can be your beef, your chicken, your fish. So this you can, the process, it depends on the type of uh, meat you're cooking. If it's fish, this is, it usually takes about, uh, six to ten minutes of poaching and then it's done and when it comes to things like chicken they take a longer process uh, between maybe 10 to 20 minutes you can actually finish it off in the oven you can roast it in the oven so that you can get a nice crispy outside and a juicy inside and uh, you can also use milk milk you can use uh, to, to poach your, your your food and milk uh, especially your fish fish is actually because fish is is more softer so you can get a, a good product out of it when you finish. And then the second one is roasting. So roasting is, is, is a way of cooking where you introduce dry air into your, 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 your product, into your dish. So you can roast from anything, from vegetable, from uh, uh, your meat, uh, anything that, is, uh, that you need to have a crispy and nice texture on the outside. So usually, Everything that you roast usually has a crispy, crunchy texture on the outside and moist and uh, juicy on the inside. This is because of the heat. So the more heat you have, but you should be careful when you're using this process of cooking because a lot of times you put too much heat on the outside. On the inside, it's not cooked and on the inside, maybe it will get dry. So you can introduce poaching first, then you have your roasting uh, at a later stage outside to make sure that it's nice and cooked as well on the inside. So you have your roasting and then when it comes to vegetables to protect them from losing a lot of uh, nutrition you can put them in a foil uh, in your container casserole dish then you can put a foil paper on top aluminium foil then you make some incisions so that at least when it's cooking it's maintaining moisture inside as, as it steams as the vegetable steam they are also creating and then oh, they're also releasing their own uh, water content so they are steaming in their own juices then you can get more flavor out of it as well and then the, the third one is pan searing pan searing is where you have your pan and then you have a small amount of oil virgin extra virgin olive oil sunflower oil canola oil and then you gently crisp up the you need to make sure that your oil is nice and hot so that you don't soak a lot of oil in your meat or in your, in your uh, dish in, in your vegetable, be it vegetables or be it meat. So you don't want to have a lot of uh, oil in your, in, in your dish. So you make sure that it's nice and hot, steaming hot. You can see the smoke and then you put it on the side so that you don't uh, splash yourself oil, hot oil. And then 
you need some sort of coating, some sort of agent that will, will bind, uh, that will cover your, 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 your product so that it don't burn it, so that it, don't, it doesn't overcook or you don't burn it on the outside and then it's not really well done on the inside. So maybe you can make a, a, a coating, or you can use breadcrumbs, or you can use a butter. Uh, most of these things we're going to show you later on when you're doing a recipe, so uh, don't lose hope yet. So we, we crisp up, so you, you dip your, 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 your meat or your vegetables and you, you put it in your, in, your, in your pan. And then you make sure that it has a nice, you put it for like a minute or a minute 30 seconds and then you make sure it's got a nice caramelization, a nice golden uh, side and then you flip it over and then you finish it off. But you need to make sure that you're controlling your heat because you don't want to burn the outside and not uh, cook on the inside as well. So whilst you're doing it, you can be making sure that you're putting it on the side and then you can use the heat that is already uh, generated in the pan and then you can use it on the side. If you want also, you can close it, create a bit of moisture. You can use a lid of your, your pan and then close it. So it will cook in the steam and also create a bit of moisture on the inside and then you can be putting it back. So it's like a back and forth kind of movement. So pan searing is really done if you have um, uh, meat that is not exactly uh, thick, like your steaks. Your steaks, you can have them if you are the kind of person who likes well done, medium rare. You can do that, you can pan sear. Uh, grill it. Yeah, so that's another way, which is it's actually healthier because you're using a, a, a lesser amount of oil. And if you want, if you're not sure about it, you can finish it off. You can finish it off by roasting it. So by roasting it, that dry air would actually help by sucking out most uh, some of the oil content as well from the from your dish. And then the fourth one is boiling. Boiling usually is done when Let's say you don't have a lot, you don't have a lot of ingredients with you. So this is like a peasant way of dishing, of, of, of cooking. Not saying that it's bad or, or anything, but it's, it's actually a good way. But the thing is, you need to make sure that you flavor your water. Every time you make something, if you want to get, if you want to get a good flavor out of something, then don't use plain water. Make sure you flavor, especially when cooking your rice. Make sure that you add, uh, use beef stock. So how do you make your beef stock? This is like uh, you have your bones from your, let's say you cut your meat, bones, you take your bones, you roast them. And then after you roast them, you put them in your, in your, in your pot, fill up with water. Then you put your off cuts, like what we were saying before, your off cuts of um, carrots, you know, your onions, herbs, spices, you put them in there and then you flavor that water. Then you strain that water. That same water you can use to cook your rice in. So, that, so now you have your flavors that are coming from that water imparting into the rice. So you can also use the same water when you're cooking anything like vegetables, like what we're talking about blanching um, the vegetables your, as a poaching liquid as well. So boiling is another way, but you need to make sure that you don't, when it comes to boiling it off, a lot of people overcook. So you want to run away from that, um, you, want to, you want to get a move away from that, uh, stage of, of, of boiling your food because you're losing a lot of uh, nutrient content in it. So these are the basic methods of cooking that we be working with that usually people have in their houses there that you can implement in your own home without having a lot of wastages, without having uh, losing a lot of nutritional value and also keeping it healthy. Because at the end of the day when you eat, we don't want to eat food that has no value in it for the sake of eating. That's how people usually get obese. And, you know, it's because we're not looking at the ways you're cooking. So you need to make sure that uh, as much as possible, we love deep fried food. You should actually make sure that we have it. If you like deep fried cook, uh, food, then you might as well maybe do it like once or twice per week. It's actually healthier for you. And if you're doing it, maybe use uh, uh, substitutes like canola oil or olive oil. Um, as much as we all like uh, that fancy good food, we can have it, but at the same time, we can keep it healthy as well. So yeah, stay tuned. Uh, keep checking our page for more tips and more videos uh, from this. Yeah. Remember, eating is a necessity, but cooking is an art. This is Chikafu by Tinashe. Thank you. Thank you.